the overview message of Leviticus is the holiness of God. Be holy because I, the Lord, your God, I am holy. Exodus 19.2 But how can unholy people approach a holy God? I'm glad you ask. The answer, first, sin must be dealt with. Thus, the opening chapters of Leviticus give detailed instructions for offering sacrifice, which were the active symbols of repentance and obedience. Whether bulls and grain and goats or sheep, the sacrificial offerings had to be perfect, with no defect or bruises. Pictures of the ultimate sacrifice to come, Jesus, the Lamb of God. Amen, somebody. Jesus has come and opened the way to God by giving up his life as the final sacrifice in our place. He died for your sin. He died for my sin. He died a miserable death. He died the death of a sinful man when he's a sinless man. He died for your sinfulness, for my filthiness, for our filthy rag. Because we come short the glory of God, we all. But Jesus died in our place. Hallelujah, somebody. True worship and oneness with God begin as we confess our sins and accept Christ as the only one who can redeem us from sin and help us approach God. In this pericope, I'm talking about the holiness of God. We are to come to a place where we understand that the God that we call upon every day as an holy people, as an holy man, and an holy woman, as an holy person, persons all over the world that we are, calling a holy God. He never changes. He's still holy. He's still righteous. He's still that God that loves us for, for, for nothing. Love us for, we don't even give him nothing, but he still loves us and Jesus his son and give his only begotten son and die in our place of sinfulness. In Leviticus sacrifice, priest and the scared day of atonement opened the way for the Israelites to come to God. God's people were also to worship him with their lives. Thus, we read of purity laws. And now the testimonies. Good morning, Reverend Joy. I would like to say how wonderful it is to wake up each every morning with the morning coffee scriptures. Personally, it has brought clarity to some cloudy situation, especially when dealing with life struggle as well as we all do. I see myself from time to time reflecting back on some of the scriptures that I have archived and find the one that fits a particular circumstances with a friend or family member. I started every day with the word of God when I wake up, which I find very uplifting and exhilarating to know that after I spend time meditating and praying, I can depend on my morning coffee scripture to follow. I can't thank you enough, Reverend Joy Enwachiko, for the effort you put into making people's lives enriched by God's word. We all face challenges every day. But I believe your morning coffee scriptures have touched many. Thank you and God bless you. Stephanie Gray. Here is another testimony. Morning coffee scriptures has changed my life. The simple breakdown of the word of God in this uh, morning coffee scripture is amazing. It's so amazing. This is a divine morning coffee for everyone who desires spiritual soul food to take you through difficult times. It is refreshing to my soul. It is a pleasure to read morning coffee every morning, and that gives me inspiration and wisdom. I love it. This truly makes my day. I'm very grateful and thankful to God for using Reverend Joy to create such a wonderful tool. Dorothy Smith Prayer God help me, please, because I do not want to go anywhere that takes me away from you. And I don't want to fear anything or any situation. Oh God, my Lord, I know you are before me and with me wherever life takes me. 
In Jesus Christ's mighty and matchless name, I pray. Amen. God bless you all mightily. This Reverend Joy. Bye now.